picture it now a relaxing week away in your favorite place. Maybe it was right there. Sounds nice, right? But will you be willing to go into debt to make it happen? Well, a new study found that over one third of people say they'd make that trade. Bankrate senior industry analyst Ted Rossman joins us now to discuss this trend. Ted, great to see you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I'm assuming this probably doesn't surprise you, considering most Americans, I'm just going to use an example here, would buy a new handbag, even if it put them in debt. <laughs> so a vacation seems like something most people would actually do. Yeah, I mean, it's true that a lot of people already have credit card debt. 44% of cardholders, in fact, carry debt from month to month. I don't want to tell people they can't have any fun, but, you know, I do think it's important to set a budget. We still have some time before summer. You want to set some money aside every paycheck so that you're hopefully not taking on credit card debt. And that's the other thing, you know, maybe get credit cards working for you instead of against you. Instead of paying those interest rates, which average 20.71%, use those rewards points and miles. There are some ways that you can still have fun on a budget this summer. But let me ask you this, because most people know those interest rates exist and know that you're spending money on credit cards and you're probably by the end of, uh, of paying off whatever you've spent, it's going to be a lot more than what you originally spent. But for a vacation, it's one thing for, you know, for an object or a car or something like that. But for a vac an experience, is that why you think close to 40 percent of people are like, you know what, I would take that trade off? Yeah, it's interesting how this pent up demand continues to roll, isn't it? I really thought 2022 was supposed to be the year of revenge travel. And, you know, in many senses, it was that you know, travel did roar back once pandemic restrictions eased. But what's been surprising is that 2023 popped it. This year is looking really robust. I do think that, you know, some of it is COVID aftermath and people can't wait to go places. And I understand that. But, you know, I also think something was underfoot even before that, um, millennials, Gen Zers, they love experiences. And hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I just worry about the cost of credit card debt. So I think there is that middle ground, set the money aside, use the rewards points and miles. Another thing is let the deal dictate when and where you go. Maybe consider traveling in the shoulder season or the off season or, or just deal shopping instead of getting your, your heart set on a specific place at a specific time. So the summer season is fast approaching. We've been showing some images of rental home, rental summer houses and things like that. How can people be smart about saving if that's the option they want to take? I mean, some people want to take a cruise. Some people want to rent, you know, a beach house for a week or so. What would you recommend? I like the idea of casting a wide net. You know, if you want to go to the beach, but you don't really care which beach, shop around, you know, figure out where there are cheaper accommodations, cheaper flights. Maybe it's a road trip. I know gas prices have gone up, but that filters through to airline tickets as well. So maybe driving is cheaper. If nothing else, maybe plan a staycation. I mean, there are so many great things to do in New York City and the surrounding area. Tons of people come here from all over the world. So if nothing else, play tourist in your local area, you know, find some time to relax and recharge. You don't want to bust the budget, though. So I, I think there is a way to have fun without taking on a ton of credit card debt. You know what, Ted? I just pulled the whole staycation thing with my family last week for my son's spring break, and my wife still is not talking to me. So <laughs> no, I kid, I kid. Uh, real quickly, Ted, before we let you go, if you had to give one piece of saving advice for the people out there, whether it's a, a splurge item, a vacation, something like that, with you know the, the summer season fast approaching, what would it be? Make it automatic. Have money set aside every paycheck into a dedicated savings account. That can help with your vacation budget or also other savings goals. You may already be doing this for your retirement plan, but I think it's important for near-term savings as well. Excellent advice, as always. Bankrate Senior Industry Analyst Ted Rossman. Ted, good to see you. Thanks. Thanks for having me.